Our first guest today is Laura Yip. She's from Jillian's Place, who recently launched their program on responsible reporting of gender-based violence. It's a training program. I have signed up for it. It's very beneficial. And Laura, you got a grant for this project. Yes, we did. In uh, November of 2021, we received a, um, it's a 30-month grant uh, from Women and Gender Equality Canada to, to undertake this program. This, I know it's, it's aimed at journalists mm -hmm. for better reporting of gender-based violence and violence against women, femicide, all of these things mm -hmm. that we're experiencing across the country. It's epidemic. Yes. But really, it's bigger than that. It's, it's a lot bigger than that um, in, on two fronts. So it is about responsible media reporting of gender-based violence and gendered issues more broadly. Uh, so how women are represented in the media, how um, women as experts, for instance, when, when experts are quoted in media, 20%, um, fewer than 20% are women. That's a, a little, it's a subtle thing that probably most people wouldn't notice happening. Right, I think so. And I think when we do see women in media, um, their representation in media, it's also as things like victims and homemakers and not in those in those expert roles. It's also bigger in terms of the program was developed with journalists and students of journalism in mind. However, it's good, uh, it's really good information to have for educators, elected officials, law enforcement, victim services agencies, um, and really anyone who is interacting with media at any point in any part of their job, I really feel, we at Jillian's Place, really feel that this program is beneficial for them. If we want media to use different language and, and take a different approach, then I think any of us who are talking to the media need to be doing the same. You mentioned educators. As you know, I was a teacher for 28 and a half years. I'm still mm -hmm. really a teacher. Mm -hmm. But... You know, this is beneficial. I can see this as very, very helpful for teachers addressing a class of 30 students. Mm -hmm, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, we, we talk about, we say gender-based violence and gendered issues, people tend to immediately think women. Uh, we also talk about gender and sexually diverse people and how they're represented in media and how they are disproportionately impacted by various for forms of violence. We talk about racially marginalized individuals. We have an entire section dedicated to indigenous women and two spirit people and how they're represented in media. Um, each of the modules begins with some background information on the issue, statistics about the issue, and then gets into the media representation piece and recommendations. Um, so if it's just the background information and the statistics, that's really helpful for the general public to, to know as well. So you have this guide, yes. and this is available as a PDF on your website. Mm -hmm. There's also a series of videos, some tests, some, mm -hmm. some I guess, benchmarks. Yeah, so um, the the program has a number of facets. So there's the, the guide, which, as you mentioned, is available as a PDF. We also have printed uh, copies for people. The the program originally was supposed to have a 90-minute documentary that went along with it. Uh, the team at MRP in St. Catharines, as we started filming the interviews, we ran into the, the very good problem to have um, where our interviewees were saying things that were of such value, we couldn't figure out how we were going to cut right. it down to 90 minutes. Right. So we ended up creating a docu-series instead. The docu-series lives on our YouTube channel, but all of those videos are also embedded in the training program. And so in each of the modules, you'll have um, a segment of the docu-series. There will be some text that goes with the lesson as well. Um, and then at various points throughout the training program, there's a test on that particular section. And at the end of the entire thing, there's also a certificate. So if you're an educator who has said to your students, you know, here's a extra credit assignment or something that we right. want to work into the curriculum or whatever, you know as an educator that there's this has been developed with some rigor and someone isn't just clicking through and here's the certificate. They have to actually learn and apply the, the material. Primarily this is being done as a self-guided kind of project for people, doing it when they can fit into their schedule. But are you heading out and doing some training sessions with different groups, different organizations? Yeah, so it, it was set up uh, to be an individual self-paced sort of thing. Uh, one example of what's happening though, uh, Metroland has reached out to me and said, we'd like our staff to take this. Can we do sort of a guided um, program over a series of weeks, right? So over a six week period of time, I'll come in, talk to them, we'll assign them some of the course to look at the next week, we come in and talk about what it is that they took from that that program. So there's there's options. 
The fact that Metroland is interested in that gives me hope that this is catching on, that people are starting to pay attention to it and sign up for it. Yeah, I hope so. I think um, the the Metroland, when they reached, they reached out to us um, for it. That was that was huge um, uh, for this program, and I think they're putting us in front of several dozen journalists. Uh, we don't have a final number yet, but it was originally. 250, but of course, with what's happened with Metroland in the last couple of weeks, it will be fewer than that. Um, but hopefully, hopefully that's saying it's, it's catching on. The other thing is I've had journalists calling me asking for advice on how to report on things, right? right? Um, so while they may not have signed up for the program, they're aware of it and are, are seeking that information. This is a free program, no cost for people to take online. It's available at? Uh, Jillian'sPlace.com slash Responsible Media. Laura, such a great program, so so heavily needed, not just in the media, but elsewhere. Thanks for filling us in about it. Thank you.